Ever wonder if your baby's growing big enough in there? Well, you're in luck. There's an easy way to check on this from the comfort of your own home using nothing but a flexible measuring tape and your sense of touch. Welcome to the DeConta channel, where we discuss all things educational and we never duck away from difficult topics. As you probably already know, if you've been keeping up with this series, that in the first trimester, your baby's length is measured from their crown to their rump, or the top of their head to their butt. However, between weeks 14 and 20, within that second trimester, there are other measurements that are also taken to determine your baby's overall length or growth and progress. These measurements taken by ultrasound of your baby's head circumference, their belly circumference, and the length of their femur bone give you a much more accurate representation of the growth of your child. Now, after this 20 week mark of gestation, there's also an additional thing that you can measure to see if your baby's on track growth wise. This new factor is called the mother's fundal height, which is essentially the distance from the mother's pubic bone all the way up to the top of her uterus, which essentially is just measuring the height of the uterus. Typically, after the 20 week gestational mark, your fundal height aligns with the number of weeks pregnant you are. So for example, if you were 22 weeks pregnant, then your fundal height should be somewhere around 22 centimeters. Now this is just a very non-invasive, rough guesstimate that gives doctors a good idea if your baby is on track with their growth schedule. If you'd like to determine this value for yourself, all you need is a recliner and some flexible measuring tape, along with the use of your own fingertips. So take a seat, recline back as far as you can, or if you don't have a recliner, then just lay down in bed with some pillows to prop you up a little bit, and then take your fingers and start above your belly button and just start pressing down and go towards your belly button while pushing downwards. At some point, you should feel a little bit of a harder lump kind of thing right above your belly button or around your belly button, especially if you are still around the 20, 22 week mark, somewhere in that range, you should be close to your belly button. You should feel that harder lump is the top of your uterus or your fundus, hence fundal height. Now, keep that pressure in your fingers where the fundus is, that top of your uterus, and then take your measuring tape and start it from basically right where your pubic hair would start growing on your vulva. So that's kind of like roughly where your pubic bone would be. And take that and measure it all the way up to where you felt that fundus. And voila, the centimeter distance or length of that measurement should be your fundal height. Now, if you are 20 weeks pregnant, right at your belly button should roughly be the 20 centimeter mark. So 20 weeks usually aligns right with your belly button. So you can also kind of guesstimate that if you're 21 weeks pregnant, that you would only be an extra centimeter above your belly button, 22 weeks pregnant, two centimeters above your belly button, and so on and so forth. Now, this is not an exact science, obviously, so don't be concerned if it's not exactly spot on with your gestational weeks pregnant, especially once you get to the weeks 26 to 38 range. Besides, around 38 weeks pregnancy, it's pretty typical for your baby to drop down into your pelvis in order to prepare for birth. And this drop is going to give you a little bit more space up by your lungs again, Oh, insert breath of relief, and will also adjust your fundal height downwards. But if you do genuinely happen to be concerned about your baby's growth and your fundal height, do reach out to your OB and have them double check everything accordingly. Now, speaking of dropping down, that's exactly what happened this week with my anxiety. Finally. Ever since I finally got to see the anatomy ultrasound and I have that fetal Doppler at home so I can check on her whenever I need to, whenever I want to, uh, even though I do try and use it sparingly, but it does help me calm my nerves and has really helped me wrangle and cope with my own anxiety. However, it has been nearly impossible for me to shave my legs at this point 
because I can't see anything past my belly or bend over in the shower and forget about anything down there. I can't see nothing at this point anymore. <laughs> and also because of this, I unfortunately almost tripped over my daughter who was standing right below me. And of course my belly was blocking my view and I couldn't see her. And so I tripped over her, but to prevent from hurting her or myself, I kind of had to like twist in this really awkward way. And that ended up throwing out my SI joint and my whole neck and my shoulder and everything flared up. My back was all sore my neck was all sore. My SI joint was out so I could barely walk. And honestly, the combination of all of that, I prefer pregnancy pain up to seven centimeters than all of those things combined at once. That's how horrific the pain was. And last but not least, the tiredness is picking up as well. I'm sure it has some part to do with the pain and other parts to do with just pregnancy hormones and where we're at. So even if I've had a full night's sleep, albeit on and off, the tiredness still got me like by every afternoon. And what does our little one look like at 21 weeks? Well, our little one has grown to an astonishing eight and a half inches long or roughly 21.6 centimeters long, which is roughly the length of a banana or a carrot as seen in the model here. Baby's eyelids have finished forming this week and they've been quite a busy little banana moving around in there. For me, I've still barely been able to feel her move and what movements I have been able to feel have been far from consistent. And since our baby's getting really good at swallowing that amniotic fluid, their digestive tract is also getting better and better at doing what it's supposed to do. And that job is extracting calories for baby's use. What's also really cool about this week is that if you're having a baby girl like we are, then her vagina is fully formed this week. Although it will still continue to form all the way up until birth, of course. Now go grab yourself some measuring tape and see what your fundal height is. And let me know in the comments below if your fundal height actually does measure up with your gestational weeks pregnant. These videos take quite a bit of time to make, but it would only cost you a second to like this video. To join me next week in this 40 week pregnancy series, all you have to do is subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next week.